My favorite leg day warm-up. Somebody reached out to me and asked me, Stan, how do you warm up for leg day? You know, some people can just jump under a bar and start squatting. I'm not that guy. 16. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I'm like the tin man without an oil can. It used to take me half an hour to warm up. I'd walk or I'd bike. I'd do uh, walk backwards on a treadmill or I would drag sleds and then I'd slowly work myself down into a squat holding on to something while my knees would crack and, and, and groan. My current warm-up takes me five minutes and I can jump under a bar and start squatting with no pain. And remember, I had chronic tendonitis for over 10 years in my hips and knees, which I talked about in great detail in my uh, YouTube video, Keys to Pain-Free Knees. But now I can squat and deadlift over 600 pounds with no, no wraps, no sleeves, and no pain. And my current warm-up is this assault bike. Love this thing. Jake Benson turned me onto this uh, last fall when I was training with him, and I've done it every leg day since. It takes me literally five minutes. I warm up for a minute, just uh, start spinning on it. And then I got a clock on the wall over here, and about every minute, I'll do a 10 second hit set, as fast as I can go. And I do that about three or four times, uh, and then I'm ready to squat. Now, there's I think about four things that a warm up should do. Uh, should increase your heart rate, should increase your body temperature. It should be done or performed through a range of motion that's similar to the exercise that you're gonna be doing. Uh, and it, for me, I like it to, to give me lots of blood flow. I like to have a little pump in my knees and quads before I get under a squat. Uh, one of the things, an extra bonus from the assault bike that I, I don't get from any of my other warm-ups is the power component, the speed component. And that's something that particularly as you age, that starts to decline very rapidly. And so Jake had me doing a lot of very explosive things, whether it was box jumps or slam balls. And this one here was the one that we would do for lower body. There's a few things I think you shouldn't do for warm-ups. Uh, I don't think you should take too long. I don't think you should burn too much of the glycogen that you're going to use in a hard training session. And if you're going to set PRs, I don't think you should do any uh, long static stretches uh, that might inhibit that, that top lift. But other than that, I think this is uh, one of my favorite warm-ups. Again, just ride for about a minute and then look at the clock in 10 seconds after you can go. for a minute and do another 10 seconds. I'll do three or four of those based on how I feel. It takes me less than five minutes. I can jump off the bike and I can drop down into a deep squat and start squatting with absolutely no pain for the day. So that's your uh, pro tip for the day, how Stan warms up for squats. Give it a try. Let me know what you think.